Well, good morning, Western Oregon, and happy Sunday. It looks like it's not quite as great as we we're seeing on Saturday, but you know, it's still going to be a good day ahead. We've got some colder conditions that we're dealing with at the moment, and in addition to that, we're also going to be having some pretty thick fog depending on where you're at. So check that out behind me right now. This is Holly Square, which is the Beltline in Coburg, but you can't even see the Beltline here. You can only just see that entrance to Coburg. It is very, very foggy in Eugene right now. And some of the areas that do have fog are not going to be as affected by the frost, but if you still got a clear sky right now and you can see blue, most likely going to have to scrape some frost up that windshield as well. These two conditions don't really uh, live together very well. So either way, you're going to be dealing with something for this morning, but uh, you know, it's going to get a little bit better. We're going to see higher temperatures coming up pretty soon. They're going to increase quickly through the morning, but just going to have to deal with a little bit of this first. Now, here's a look at that visibility monitor right now so you can see where the fog is the worst. And it would suggest that Eugene is doing all right right now, but I just showed you that's definitely not the case. So that means that it's going to be patchy in nature since our monitors are only picking it up in a few places. So Depending on where you're at, just be ready to drive into some really, really poor visibility like we were just seeing out on Coburg there. So just stay safe for the morning, but it shouldn't last the entire day. Looking at the storm cast here, you will see that that fog is going to be replaced pretty quickly with some high cloud coverage. So 830 here just in the next 10 minutes or so, and then we'll move forward from there into 930 and you can see coming up from the south, we have more of those high clouds continuing to file in. Doesn't do such a good job showing you that fog, but we will see that lingering till probably about 11 o'clock or so. Then as 12 rolls around, here it is moving even further up. We now have full cloud coverage all the way up as far north as Sweet Home. And you can see some of that green towards the bottom there. There is a bit of a rain chance coming in later on, mostly for the coast, but then it's going to come in through tonight and we'll see more rain coming in. 2 o'clock there, there it is. Rain chance starting out for Roseburg and Coos Bay. And we do see snow out over the mountains at that point as well. And then for the remainder of the day, that just comes even further from the south into the more northern areas there and just covers every area with a bit of a rain chance into the evening. Seeing that at 730, like I said, though, it is the highest along the coast. So towards tonight, you're definitely going to end up with some sprinkles, but it shouldn't be too heavy until we go into tomorrow. 10 o'clock does show that whole band passing through the area as well. So getting later into the night, it'll be dry before we do return to see more rainfall into tomorrow. Now, what's the deal with this? Well, California has been affected by a pretty intense storm with an atmospheric river, and that is what's pushing through later on for today. So the low pressure associated with this system is going to be dying off, but it's going to be drifting north. So we're just going to get the tail end of all the intensity that we've seen out over California, and that's why it's not as dry because it's mostly been rained or not as wet. It's mostly been rained out over California, and we're just getting that residual moisture moisture here, so it could be a little bit worse. Seven day forecast is going to show you temps drop back down towards the later half of this week for the coast. It's relatively consistent. We do see rainfall coming up this evening into tomorrow morning and for the Umpqua Basin 49 getting down into those high 40s later into the week. We do see some colder morning temperatures again 36 Thursday to Friday. And for the Cascade Passes, looks like a chance of snow or snow every single day in the low 30s. Limit Valley, of course, 52 for today. We'll see that fog clear out eventually, and then we'll get down to those maybe even mid 40s by the back half of the week. 